All right, what's going on, YouTube? We're back in it for another one. And how about that YouTube drama? You knew it was going to find your boy one of these days. You knew it was going to find its way to this channel, especially from this specific person. Listen, you guys seen the title of the video. This will be the one and only time I'm ever making a video on this individual because I just, I don't care. I got people reaching out to me last night. Hey, man, you got to check this shit. This trash can eight thoughts made a video and he's talking shit about you. I got people reaching out to me on Twitter asking me if I'm going to reply to him in a video. Like, reply to what, man? Reply to what? The dude, apparently, apparently, this man is pissed off at me and he called me a dork or something or a dweeb because I'm pissed off at Activision. He turned chill, right? But he's bipolar as hell, so he'll turn back. Like, trust me when I say that. Hasn't he flip-flopped like five times now just with MW Deuce alone? First, he loved it, then he hated it, then he loved it again, started hating it, started talking shit about people who were talking shit about the game, then he started loving it again and hating it. The dude is just all over the place, man. You can't take him seriously, so I, I don't care what he thinks. Like, in order for you to be bothered about somebody's opinion on you, in order for you to actually care what they think about you, you have to value their opinion. <laughs> We're talking about a nerd here, eight thoughts, beta thoughts, everybody's favorite grandmother who just talks shit. He just starts shit with people because he's got nothing else, man. Like his content's got nothing. So he starts shit with people usually with a bigger channel because he's trying to get in on some of that clout and he just starts shit, man. Drama gets views. You could be out here curing cancer. But if you upload a video of you starting shit with somebody, everybody's going to go watch that. They don't give a fuck about the video curing cancer. They don't care about that positivity. Everybody wants to watch this toxic negative shit from everybody's favorite grandma. So I guess some of you are wondering how this all started because you don't watch beta thoughts for the same reasons that I don't watch beta thoughts. It started because of my last video. I made a video talking about bipolar cod content creators how they're out here contradicting themselves and it was just it was a generality right i was it was just like a, a broad video i watched a few different videos from a few different channels basically regurgitating the same nonsense defending activision for taking down sm2 and i made a video explaining why we have legitimate beefs and after I made that video public, I started seeing some comments. Yo, he's definitely talking about eight thoughts. It's eight thoughts you're talking about, right? And it kind of threw me off for a second because when I was making the video, I wasn't even so much thinking about him. Like I did see his video, but I only watched like two minutes of it, man. I just clicked off because I thought it was cringy as shit. Like I, when I made the video, I wasn't even actually thinking about eight thoughts i was thinking about some of these other channels channels that are around my size a little bit smaller and i'm thinking about a couple of bigger ones who uploaded the same type of video or they dropped some tweets talking about the same thing just regurgitating that same basic line how they understand where activision is coming from and anybody who's pissed off is dumb and in the wrong like i was it was just a generality about the entire situation like Eight Thoughts was at the back of my mind. And so when I seen these comments and I was like, I replied to a few people and I said, well, yeah, he he definitely would fit the description of a bipolar COD content creator out here <laughs> defending that bullshit, talking shit about the community. Like he fits the description, but I wasn't even so much thinking about him when I made the video. It was, it was just a broad spectrum of everybody who was talking about that subject at the time. And of course, he finds the video like an hour after I uploaded or something like that, and he gets all buttered about it. And I started laughing. I was like, I'm, I actually find it pretty funny that you took offense to this video because again, I don't watch his videos. I don't care what he thinks. I don't give a shit what he has to say about anything to do with COD. And like, I don't even care about the shit that he has to say about me behind my back or whatever the fuck he's got going on. I don't care about this man. So making that commentary, like he was at the back, of, like all the way at the back of my mind. Like he, he wasn't, you know, I guess a guilty conscience will do that though, right? Which is why he took offense to it. And so he makes a video the next day about the new X Labs being taken down and he's taking more jabs at Blame Truth and he brings me up and talks some shit about me for a minute or whatever it was. Listen. I don't have the patience for this going back and forth on the internet like a tough guy bullshit, man. If I got a if, if the little bitch is being a little bitch, I'd rather just throw down in handles, man, in person. I I don't like this going back and forth 
online like a couple of fucking teenage girls and shit like that talking shit and running your mouth I, that's just that's just kitty shit to me bro that's all it is it's just it's fucking kitty shit it's immature kitty shit but after I noticed this video of him talking some shit about me but going at blame truth again I noticed that he's everybody's favorite grandmother has been on quite the crusade lately going at Nero multiple times going at blame truth he even attacked the Tim the dynamite trying to say that Tim copied his thumbnails or videos or like even if he is who the fuck cares man he ain't bothering you the dynamite ain't bothering nobody who cares like it doesn't matter if you don't like the man's content what the fuck does that have to do with you eight thoughts like why are you making videos about smaller youtubers and like aren't you supposed to be going after the bigger ones trying to get that clout so you can get your numbers back up again so you don't have to get a job when you get your channel taken down you boot up another channel shouldn't you be going after the bigger channels instead of the smaller channels the smaller channels don't do nothing for you bro you only get a few subscribers from starting drama with them but who fucking cares if he steals your thumbnails or steals your topics or whatever if you remember beta thoughts you copied my shit a few months back i remember i made a video talking about angry joe's and Ackman's review on modern warfare deuce and i just made you know we don't have much to talk about with modern warfare deuce man it's a very dry boring game so i was just trying to come up with ideas for a video and it was something that I was genuinely interested in making a video on. So I talked about why they got the reviews so wrong, but why I also think it's their truth. Why they loved Modern Warfare Deuce and a lot of us hate it. And why I think that they were still being truthful, but still trying to break down why did they get it so wrong? And I remember like later on that day or the next day, I'm getting comments on my videos. Yo, why are you copying eight thoughts, man? <laughs> I'm like, what the fuck you co copying eight thoughts? Like, what? I don't even watch this dude. How the fuck am I copying eight thoughts as videos? And it turned out that he went and made the same fucking video. Just a rant, random out of nowhere. He makes a video breaking down Angry Joe's and Ackman's review on Modern Warfare Deuce. And he even had pretty much the same thumbnail as me where I put bra on the thumbnail over whatever picture of Modern Warfare Deuce. He did the same thing and then went back and changed it later. People were accusing me of copying him even though I uploaded my video hours or even a day before he did. He's out here fucking copying people, but accusing other people of copying him. Yo, you can't make this shit up, man. But like I said, man, I don't take him seriously. I don't even think he takes himself seriously. People don't go to a channel like that. People don't go to his channel because they're looking for substance. They go to his channel because it's a fucking clown show, bro. They just want to see an old bald dude say retarded ass shit for shock value. That's that's why he's got the viewership that he's got. That's what, it's cheap entertainment, bro. Cheap laughs. And now he's out here going at Nick Merckx again, even though Nick Merckx had his channel taken down. And I actually took his side with that because I didn't like what Nick Merckx did. I didn't think Nick was in the right. And even when I brought up Nick in a recent few videos about adding his skin into Warzone 2 and shit, Modern Warfare dudes, every time I mention his name, I always call him Nick. I took your channel down, Mercs, because I think it's pathetic what he did. But now he's going at Nick Mercs again. The dude, he's got no filter, man. We've seen the shit that went down with Drifter. Like, after that is, like, even before that, I stopped taking him seriously, man. Because, like I said, I don't even think he takes himself seriously. He just blurts out random bullshit, toxic shit, constantly hating on people. But after that Drifter shit, whether or not I like Drifter is irrelevant. What he did with Drifter was out of pocket, straight up, man. And that shit was fucked up. And after that, I was just like, all right, man, I'm out. So even though, you know, I lost a lot of respect for him with that whole Drifter thing... I still sided with him though, with the Nick Merckx thing. And now he's out here going at Blame Truth over and over and over again, trying to get some of Blame Truth's numbers and he's just attacking Blame Truth. And I remember when that whole shit went down with Drifter, Blame Truth actually defended 8 Thoughts. He didn't gang up and go at 8 Thoughts like a lot of other people were doing. He actually, he didn't take sides. He just called it down the middle and he actually showed 8 Thoughts respect. And this is how eight thoughts repays him this is the kind of person you are beta thoughts everybody's favorite grandma or my bad the alpha of the alpha of the alpha male 
the elite gaming, what is he called? Elite gaming athlete or elite gaming stud athlete gamer. I don't know what the fuck. Like, he's got all these stupid ass sayings, man. But either way, the man needs to remind himself constantly that he's an alpha. It's almost like he doesn't have the motherfucking confidence in it. So I got to tell people on every single video how much of a fucking alpha I am with those wet noodle arms and that bald ass head. <laughs> Mother motherfuckers got to sneak up on a glass of water just to take a drink out here talking about being an alpha fucking male the alpha dog of the alpha males and i'm alpha and everything's alpha no you're just a fucking beta dude you ain't even a beta you're a charlie you're a delta you're a zeta what the fuck are you talking about thoughts beta thoughts just a fucking nerd see i didn't want this shit to happen man i wasn't looking for this type of shit i was cool with even though I lost respect for him and he does some stupid ass shit, you could go over there and stay in your motherfucking corner and I'll stay in mine. He's been on my videos already saying GG's bro, good video and shit on my net code video and other other videos. He's already been bootlicking on this side. I ain't go over to his channel though. I have no interest in going over to his channel. I think I ever went to one other video before all this went down and that was his Nadia video because that's when Nadia was going crazy with her bullshit toxic as hell and all of that so i watched the video and i dropped a comment i don't bother with this dude he could have stayed in his corner and i would have stayed in mine right he could flip flop about cod all day long he could call this person out call that person out accuse people of copying him doing all this stupid ass shit just dumb as a bucket of shrimp we all know how far he takes this internet drama bullshit that's why blame truth ain't bothering with him man blame truth ain't gonna give him that clout Blame Truth doesn't want to deal with the nonsense because of this video right here, he's going to make 10 on me and I want him to make more videos on me, right? But we know how far he goes with this shit. We have seen it with Drifter, man. He takes this internet drama shit real far. All right. We heard the phone calls and shit. We heard the voicemails. We know what type of dude we're dealing with here, man. So do what the fuck you got to do, beta thoughts. But I ain't Drifter, all right? I ain't Drifter. I don't roll over like drifter i don't plan on making another video on eight thoughts on this channel i there i have no intentions going forward on making another video on this fucking waste of time but you will won't you just like how drifter was doing his own thing and that bothered you didn't it it doesn't bother me seeing other people being successful but it bothers you doesn't it but that is it that is all i have on this one i think blame truth if you're watching i hope you don't mind i think i'm gonna borrow one of your lines for this one to close it out. I want to suplex Grandmama Beta Thoughts right into his fantasy. Drifter's butthole. I'm out. Peace.